I see the title Sakari again. Um, is the white man eat him? You know, uh, I'm starting to realize why Sakari and them is, is really in a lot of these camps is insane. The white man is eating. And it seems that because of the oppression and slavery um, and things that we, we've seen historically in the past, the one West Caps have labeled the white man as Edom, but the scriptures don't teach that. And so, you know, if it had been probably, you know, uh, a Babylonian captivity or any other captivity then that would have been their Edom at that time but because it is a, a uh, uh, the white man that has taken a lot of the blacks into captivity and they relate to themselves as being Israelites then this is Edom because if you look at the scriptures, it doesn't teach that the white man is Edom. And so when they say the white man is Edom, that means that if they say that there's not going to be uh, no more Edomites, then they're saying that God is going to wipe off totally the existence of white people. This is what they teach it, but the Bible does not teach that. This is why they'll blackwash Japheth, they'll blackwash uh, uh, also other hermetic tribes that are not, you know, um, that are not black. We have the Bushites coming up out of uh, uh, Ham, but we also have darker versions of people that come up out of Japheth, as well as uh, Semitic uh, people just as well, uh, uh, Shem just as well. This right here, oh yeah, let me, let me say thanks everybody for, uh, on this challenge that I'm about to put out to G-Con. That dude right there, he just showed that he lost his entire mind when he said that the Israelites are blackwashing Japheth, Shem, and Ham. Okay? So, g -Con is basically saying because he, he basically said, Kush, and, and I might need clarity from g -Con speaking like this, but if he's saying Ham, from, from, from the line of Ham, the only black people that descend from Ham are Kush, then he has a problem. He has a serious problem. Because if he's saying that there's white people on olive, on olive tone people that came from Ham, Japheth, and Shem, mainly Ham. Then he, then he fell into that that Hermetic hypothesis that believed the northern people, the people in northern Africa, are a Nordic people. So he's fallen for the whitewash doctrine that he's saying that we are blackwashing. That is so, so, so ignorant. I mean, it's just ignorant, yo. I mean, it's ignorant to the point of, it's hard to find words to even describe how ignorant and terrible of reasoning that he's trying to use as logic to even explain that there were anybody of European race descending from Ham. At what point was Ham a Caucasoid? So my challenge to g -Con is, show me a tribe predated 1250 BC of Hamites looking like Nordic Caucasoids Japheth predated 1250 BC looking like Caucasoids and Shemites predated 1250 BC looking like Caucasoids or Nordic people.
coming from um, the Nordic regions. I mean, that's just so, so pathetic and so bad for G-Con to um, even make such a claim. And he got these ignorant Negroes out here saying, oh, G-Con, do a part two. We need you to finish this, brother. We need you to finish it. Man, if they don't sit down somewhere with their little ignorant behinds, mainly Cherry Love, I mean, it's just ridiculous. It's ridiculous. So, my challenge to G-Con is to show some cave drawings, some sculptures of tribes and villages of a Caucasoid, Japheth, uh, Japhethite, Shemite, and Hamites that predate 1250 BC. Show me this and that there were mass communities of these folks. That's my challenge to G-Con. And if, and, and, and if he can't produce some type of evidence, then we can have a discussion. But there's no need in having a discussion with somebody that's so ignorant that's coming with nothing but opinion and, and and all he wants to do is tell jokes that don't, I mean, he, he's a funny guy sometimes. Don't get it wrong. He's a funny guy sometimes. But a topic like this, I mean, I don't see, I don't see anything funny about it being dumb. I just don't. You know, there's nothing funny about being dumb. And for you to say Kush, and, and I'm not even clear if you were saying Kush is is even a black a black people. I'm not sure if you were saying that either. But what I'm saying is, G-Con, the challenge is show a Caucasoid race, a Caucasoid community of people predated 12 BC. And if you could do that, then maybe we could have a discussion. But with that. And on that note, I'm saying shalom.